Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to talk about the upcoming release of the new Need for Speed Outbound. More specifically, we will take a look into the differences between Standard Edition and Palace Edition, which is a special edition of Need for Speed Outbound, and to see if it's worth paying extra for Palace Edition over Standard. So, it's less than a month until the release and many people are looking into pre-ordering the new Need for Speed and you need to choose between Standard Edition, which costs 70 bucks, and Palace Edition, which costs 10 bucks more. So, what do we get for paying extra 10 bucks? First of all, you get an early access to the game. You get to play the game on 29th of November, as if you buy the Standard Edition, you can start playing on official release date, which is 2nd of December. So you get 3 day head start of everyone else, which we kinda got used to, because almost all new games have the same concept. Now one more thing if you do not know how they came up with the name Palace Edition, not just Deluxe Edition, is because of the partnership between development studio Criterion Games and skate and streetwear brand Palace Skateboards. That means the special edition is heavy on styling items, both for vehicles and for player character. So the next thing you get if we check on the official EA website is 4 stunningly tense new custom cars. Well yeah, I'm not quite sure what's so special about these 4 cars, but ok. Palace Edition buyers will be able to use these special versions of BMW M3 Evolution 2, Mercedes AMG G63, Mercedes AMG GT and Volkswagen Golf in custom Palace liveries. So they are basically selling you 4 cars with liveries you can make in a matter of minutes just to promote the Palace brand. Ok, moving on to the next thing is new gassy driving effects. Probably something you've seen in the trailer and which are optional to have and I personally know that I won't be using these effects, so I guess I'm paying extra money for a thing I won't even be using. Next we have Meshman decals and license plate, with which you will be able to create your own custom Palace Edition cars, with a selection of Palace decals and California license plate. Besides of all that, you also get exclusive character posts and banner artwork. So once docked out, you can also set your player character to use exclusive Trifurk character pose, mimicking the triangle logo used by Palace. And the last additional content is exclusive clothing pack, containing 20 unique items which will have a Palace brand design. So that's all you get with Palace Edition, not really impressive, is it? But you also get some additional content if you pre-order Palace or even Standard Edition, and that's Unbound Driving Effect. License plate design, banner artwork and sticker, plus 150,000 bank cash for multiplayer use only. So hope this video helped you clear your mind which edition to buy or pre-order. If exclusive content is purely cosmetic, then at least for me it's not worth paying extra money for. Probably the best choice is to go with standard edition that you pre-order and get some cash with which you can start your online journey more freely. And that will be all for this video, I can't wait to throw my hands on the Need for Speed Unbound, and until then, have a great day and I will see you next time.